the marriage of the Lamb memory verse, let us rejoice and be glad and give him glory, for the wedding of the Lamb has come, and his bride has made herself ready Revelation 19-7 Bible passage, Revelation 19-1-8 After this I heard what sounded like the roar of a great multitude in heaven shouting, Hallelujah, salvation and glory and power belong to our God. Two for true and just are his judgments, he has condemned the great prostitute who corrupted the earth by her adulteries, he has avenged on her the blood of his servants, three and again they shouted, Hallelujah, the smoke from her goes up for ever and ever, for the twenty-four elders and the four living creatures fell down and worshipped God, who was seated on the throne, and they cried, Amen, Hallelujah. Five then a voice came from the throne saying, Praise our God, all you his servants, you who fear him, both great and small. 6 Then I heard what sounded like a great multitude, like the roar of rushing waters and like loud peals of thunder, shouting, Hallelujah, for our Lord God Almighty reigns. 7 Let us rejoice and be glad and give him glory, for the wedding of the Lamb has come, and his bride has made herself ready. 8 Fine linen bright and clean, was given her to wear. Ames 1. The Meaning of Marriage of the Lamb 2. Understanding the Significance of Marriage of the Lamb 3. The Qualification for Partakers in the Marriage of the Lamb. The Meaning of the Marriage of the Lamb There will come a time when all God's redeemed shall be saved. There will come a day when all who have died shall have been raised again from the tomb, and those who remain alive shall have been changed so that their corruption shall have put on incorruption, and mortality shall have put on immortality. Then will the church be perfect and complete no one member will be missing. There will be no spot or wrinkle remaining in her. Then it shall come to pass that Christ will celebrate this marriage supper, which will be the bringing of the people of God into the closest and happiest union with Christ their Lord in glory, even now. The Lord Jesus Christ is no stranger to some of us, and we are not strangers to him yet there shall come a day when we shall see him face to face, and then we shall know him with a clearer and fuller knowledge than is possible to us today. And there will come such a day for all whom he has redeemed, for all who trust him, and rest in his atoning sacrifice that will be the marriage supper of the Lamb. A study of Revelation 19. 1 8 clearly indicates that the Lamb is Jesus Christ, the King of Kings and Lord of Lords who shed his blood to cleanse sinners and the Church is his bride. The marriage supper of the Lamb, a great and joyous celebration, comes to this glorious climax near the end of the book of Revelation. It is evident that Revelation 19 colon 7 a 9 is referring to the marriage of Jesus Christ to the Church and the subsequent marriage supper. Marriage. Here, symbolizes the union between Christ and the Church. A.5, 22 32. The marriage supper of the Lamb is the consummation of the union between Christ and the Church. If.5, 27. Reverend.19, 114. Matt.22, 114. The marriage supper of the Lamb is a symbolic representation of the joyful, intimate, and eternal fellowship that takes place between Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, and his bride, the Church. The wedding supper, or marriage supper depending on the translation, is the celebration that will occur sometime during the end of days, when those who will spend eternity in heaven celebrate being united with Jesus forever. The believers are symbolized by the bride and Jesus is the bridegroom. After centuries, all of heaven will celebrate Jesus and everyone he died to save being together and his rightful reign over all the earth. It is a moment of excitement, one that even the Lord Jesus is looking forward to, as many religious scholars believe that it is this event referred to when Jesus said, I tell you I will not drink again of this fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. Matthew 26 hours 29 minutes. It is one of the greatest biblical prophetic events. It will take place before the second coming of Christ. Christ is the groom, while the living church, 
made up of all saints through the ages, living or dead, is the bride. They will experience the first resurrection, Rev. 21, 2. 2 to 9 10. This is the event to take place when this world ends the significance of the marriage of the Lamb 1. To assemble all saints for the Last Supper with Christ. 2. To present the just of all ages to God, the Father. 3. To wipe away tears of the saints. 4. To remove the saints before the Antichrist. 5. To remove the saints before the tribulation. The qualification for partakers in the marriage supper of the Lamb 1. Only those that belong to Christ are qualified. 2 Cor. 5, 17 2. Those that are eagerly waiting for his second coming, Matt. 25, 1 13, they will be patient and focused, refusing to be distracted by or entangled with the affairs of this world. Holiness will be their highest priority and pleasing God at all times their unwavering goal, Matt. 21, 10 14 Rev. 21, 8 27 Herb. 12, 14, 3. As citizens of heaven, their wedding garment will be white without spot or wrinkle, Rev. 22, 14, 15 If. 2, 16 Matt. 7, 21, 23, 4. Live by your faith, Habakkuk 2 to 4, Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. 5. Keep Christ's commandment to love other believers as Christ loved us. John 13 34, A new commandment I give unto you, that ye love one another as I have loved you, that ye also love one another. By this shall all men know that ye are my disciples, if ye have love one to another. 6. The qualified must be willing to pay the ultimate price. Conclusion. The conclusion drawn from all that has been seen concerning the marriage and marriage supper of the Lamb is that the church will be in heaven with Christ, not on the earth. One day Jesus will return for his church, call them to him, and take them to his home. Just like today there is a reception party, the marriage supper of the Lamb, like all biblical prophecies, will be fulfilled. Are you saved? You cannot afford to miss it. Pray to God for mercy grace and strength. Jesus wants to see you at the marriage supper of the Lamb. The joy of the believer being united with their Saviour forever is compared to the joy of a bride and bridegroom celebrating starting their new life together. It is a lasting union meant to be a source of joy as those in the relationship grow closer to one another. Prayer, Father, help me to remain a faithful bride for her groom in Jesus' name. Amen.